level two and three wide, that'll become clear as we start to teach you things. I'll use those words. Other thing is the ball position. Ball on your hip is position one. When we lift the ball to shoot, it's called position two. And then when we shoot it, it's position three. So position one, two, and three is how we'll communicate in terms of shooting. What we want to do is connect the decision to shoot with the skill of shooting. We want to improve the skill of shooting so that you can make the decision to shoot it. Because a lot of you turned down the shot or didn't make the shot, and that can be, we improve your skill. But first you have to understand, I'm going to shoot when I'm open. And how did we define open? More than arm length away. Basketball is much more fun when every time you catch a ball and you're open, you try and score. That has to be your mentality. We don't get points for passing, we get points for scoring. And you will enjoy the game more the better you are on offense. Hop on one foot. Hop on one foot. When I clap my hands, you're going to get two feet to the floor. Now, I know you're well coached. I know you've heard this before. I don't need to come to New Zealand and talk to you about how to land, right? I'm gonna do things that are the next level for you. So how do you land? With straight legs or bent? With bent. So I don't wanna teach you things you know already. Pop. So we land with what's called legs loaded. Basketball is not a game that's played extremely low. It's a game that's played with your legs loaded. That means a slight squat, a slight bend. So we want to land with our legs loaded. Now, we always have the ball position one right now. That means shooting hand on top of the ball, not shooting hand on the side of the ball. Pop. This is called fight for your feet. We want to get our two feet to the ground because basketball, again, everything you do in basketball and offense starts from your feet. Starts from your feet. How quickly and how much balance and power you can get your feet to the ground will determine what you can do next. In our world, it's zero seconds. Hot. What we don't want is just to rely on gravity. A lot of you are just falling to the ground. What we want to do is drive our feet to the ground using our hips, our most powerful muscle group in the body. So we'll hear that because your sound will be louder than you exaggerate right now. Hot. Hot. What's this called? Fight your feet. Why do you need to learn my language? We'll speak up our wording, but also there's a video of this on YouTube. So if you want to go watch some of the things I talk about, there's a video to, to, to go watch. Now, we want to coordinate fight for your feet with the lift of the ball. Fight for your feet gives you the action reaction. Newton's third law, laws of physics. If I drive my feet into the ground, the ground will produce energy back. That's all the energy I need to play basketball on offense. What happens if I pause? What do I lose? I lose the energy. So that's why we call it zero seconds. And I'll explain that more as we get through this. But what I want to do with the lift is, when my feet hit the ground, I also want the rhythm of the shot. So I lift the ball from position one to two. Hot. So when we land, we want to lift the ball from one to two. Hot. Now, we want to do that as fast as possible. We don't shoot quickly. Pass me the ball, pass me the ball. That's shooting quickly. Is that going to be accurate? So we're not shooting quickly. We're preparing to shoot quickly. So how quickly you can get your feet to the ground and how quickly you can lift it from one to two, that's what prepares you to shoot quickly. Hot. You got to lift it faster. A lot of you are slow on your lift. It's not feet and then lift. It's feet and lift at the same time. Hot. High five. Hot. So, once we teach it in space, the beautiful thing is we focus on reps where you get to shoot. How many of you love defense? Put up your hands. 